Hello, everybody. Welcome back. This is Neonar once again in Red Dead Redemption. So, well, I didn't mean to go out of the fire. I was going to tra fast travel. Um, we got to uh, go to Armadillo for uh, talking to, uh, what is this, I Irish, the Irish. We got to go talk to him outside of Armadillo. And that's a pretty good little run back there. So we're going to, once again, hit the right button. And bring up our campsite, and we'll just uh, we'll just do a quick ride to Armadillo, save us all a little bit of heartache of travel. So let's see, Armadillo, there we go. Okay, we're back in Armadillo. Now we need to go find the Irishman. He's somewhere on this side of town. Oh, he's right over here. Look out! You rotten son of a bitch! Help! Someone! Stinking whore! I'm gonna cut you a new home. You think I'm a joke? Get off her, you son of a bitch! Uh! Okay, so if you beat on him, realize that he's going to attack you. I didn't know that. I usually just shoot him, but then you get wanted warning for shooting. But we don't want to do that. Where are we at now? Our way out here. That's a little bit farther away than I want to be. Go back into basic camp, and we'll work our way around again. And I about just huh, realize that beating up somebody uh, may work, but realize when they pull a gun, you need to get yours out too. I gotta get good at the slow mo, but I, my slow mo meter is never getting full, so I might need to go ahead and take a, a plant to help that. This time, didn't you? You little paddy bastard! You thieving Mick country! You got it all wrong, Welsh! All wrong! It was French, I promise! He said he was going to rip you off! Now he's ripping me off! Here, keep on talking there, Irish! In about 15 more seconds, your whole world's gonna turn black! <laughs> What's up, boys? Oh. Fuck off, boy! This don't concern you! When a man with a sing-song voice tells me to fuck off, it always concerns me, boy -o. Look here, this paddy bastard stole our guns, tried to steal our horses. Lost clear on the matter. Oh, I never stole nothing, sir. Never did, not in all my life. That French cunt is playing with the Welshman's tiny and ineffective mind. Push your mind. <laughs> anyway, you all got horses now. No one needs to die. Leave him be. Who do you think you are, boy? -o? The bloody cavalry? Your voice is really starting to get on my nerves, boy. -o. And you're getting on my nerves. Yeah. This ain't nothing to do with you. I always did have to laugh at that, Welsh, big boy. <laughs> the French never want to fight in their bloody lives. I loop here before Nigel we cut scene. Dickens said you'd help me locate a machine gun. And since I just saved your life... Oh, I can't thank you enough for taking care of those two degenerates. Untrustworthy. It's got lucky. I was able to take him out before they killed him with bullets. A gentleman. Uh, what about the gun? It'd be my pleasure. She's magnificent. Government issue. It'll be a bit of a ride, but we'll get there soon enough. Uh, follow me, fella. Okay. Already, my guardian angel. This way. 
Come on then, let's find this guy. So let's follow the Irishman to wherever he's leading us. What's your name, friend? John. John Marston. Stroke of luck you came along, fella. I thought I'd drunk me last breakfast there for a second. <laughs> Who were those fine specimens of humanity? They was me only friends in the world. And boy, am I glad to see them bastards dead. We all met on the boat over a few years back, we did. Thick as thieves ever since, and that right there was the problem. Is it normal for friends in Europe to drown each other? Never trust a Welshman, me pa always told me. And he got his throat slit, so he should know. The kind of fellows who will steal an acorn from a blind sow and then kick her for squealing. And as for that French bastard... He didn't sound very French. Not for now. The thieving bastards are holed up at the cabin by the lake. Can't wait to see the look on their faces when we blast in there. They'll be more surprised than a slut dog with their first porcupine. You best not be lying to me. Listen, fella, I didn't ask for your help back there. I don't owe you nothing. I'll decide what you do and don't owe me. I've had enough of your overly aggressive manner, fella. You don't know who you're dealing with here. Irish? I've met enough men like you to last me a lifetime. Two-bit slugs who think they're snakes. Hey. You can make quick work of those fellas if they give you trouble. The gun's stored just inside that chat. What about you helping me out? Uh, I'll cover you from the ridge. I'm better from long range. It'll be a piece of cake, fella. Trust me. Yeah. You ain't welcome here, You're mister. Move along. We got... You're gonna leave this in a box! Boy, get ready to die today! I killed okay, you! This ain't nice. That's oh, fairly easy. And then we get some bodies here. See me either, huh? It's not here. That lion sack of shit. He just wanted his buddies taken care of. And yeah, I see how he is. That's okay, we got some money out of it. Now we'll go back and tell, teach him how to uh, not to. Uh... Let's go. Do that to us. I'll grab this while we're here. I've been bypassing these, but might as well. We're gonna need those for that one quest anyway. See where we have to go because it might be easier to. He's at Bendit Point. I don't know if I can take a shortcut to Bendit Point, but we'll, we'll we'll take a peek at it and see. Besides, it's nighttime. Let's get it to go forward a little bit too. So first, let's go ahead and save and get a little bit farther ahead. And then we'll see, can we go to, yeah, we can go to Bendham Point. Let's go there. Knock knock. We're here. Irish. 
nothing. Where are you? Oh, I, who do you want? I, I see you. Get away from me. Right here. Where's that machine gun, Irish? Oh, Mr. Marston. Uh, I, I found you one. Uh. Found us one, Irish. We're in this together. You, me, and an assault on Fort Mercer. I'm the guy that saved you from getting killed back there, and who you owe your life to, remember? <laughs> Not really. <laughs> Happens to me all the time. <laughs> you don't want it to happen to you again, do you, Irish? No, friend. I <laughs> wants to buy you a drink. I wants to tell you how much she means to me, how special she is. And I want to tell you that if you don't produce a Gatling gun within the hour, you'll wish you'd been killed back there. <laughs> it's the whiskey, sir. <laughs> it gives me the memory of a newborn babe, as innocent as can be. And it makes me violently angry. <laughs> Shall we go look for that gun, sir? <laughs> yes. Let's do that. Uh. Not a feller to give up easily, are you? Come on, get over here. Get on that horse and let's go. Let's go find that gun. You slacker, you. Dia, come on. Yeah. Boy, love me, faithless Flora, the lily of the west. You're not going to pass out on me, are you, Irish? <laughs> me? No, I'm right as rain. <laughs> or at least somewhere stuck between fair and medley. Well, you're going to be stuck somewhere between dying and dead if you try to cross me again. It's words like that at all, feller. Me intentions were pure. I swear it on me poor mother's life. I just get a tad confused from time to time. Honest mistake. If there's any more confusion, I'll finish what your friends in Armadillo started. Jesus, you're an impatient bastard, aren't you? Where's the gun, Irish? I hear some miners been blabbing about a machine gun they found. Apparently, they got it stashed up at Gap Tooth Breach. What do miners want with a machine gun? Shoot it at somebody, I suppose. Or sell it. I don't know. I've never been down a mine in all my life. Sounds real fishy to me, Irish. I've just about had it with you and your game. You and Wes Dickens are so crooked, you can swallow nails and spit out corkscrews. Maybe if you was more cordial with folks, they might be better inclined to help you. I saved your life and you repaid me by lying, nearly getting me killed. Not far now, Johnny. We should go around the side of Gap Tooth so the miners don't see us coming. I still don't know what miners would want with a machine gun. Miners are always fighty bastards. Spend too long without daylight and boxes, and it starts playing with your mind. I never heard so much shit come out of one mouth. Only telling you what I heard. Oh, and we'll need a wagon or something to get it out of there. That gun's heavier than sin. So how was I supposed to move it by myself last time? Two-faced little bastard. Here we are. There. Let's stop here a moment to get a lie of the land. I'm telling we're going to have a warrant after this one. But the entrance is plain to see, and there's a shaft them bastards used to haul out heavy ore. We, I mean you, can use that lift to get you and the gun to the surface. I do it all myself, but the mines play havoc with me sinuses. I'll find us a fine place to hide these horses, and then return with a borrowed flat wagon. I'll meet you at the mouth of the mine shaft, and Irish, I strongly advise you don't run off this time. You must be lost, cowboy. This is private property. Open fire! <laughs> There we go. Did I work that time? To the victor, the spoils. I'm gonna get the rifle out. You do. 
I'm trespassing all over. your head up there. Come on, better. There you go. There you go. Rest in peace, my friend. Stay with the volcanic pistol. It does a little bit more damage. Let's see. There's still one guy over here I missed. One guy here. Okay, now we got to go down the mine. I think we got everybody here. We'll see as we run back this way. There's a couple more. I just saw them pop up. Didn't get anybody up here. What have we got here? And it's mainly the money I want. That's the best way to get money. Well, not the best, but quick way to get money. Okay, let's see what we have in here. Me too. I walk it. Yeah. Follow me. What do you want? There's someone in the mine. I remember how to reload. Can I borrow this, friend? There we go. Still can't pick up any more ammo. Let's walk around. Hazy in here. I know you can set those off too, but I've been trying not to. Oh, that one time I hit. Excuse me, partner. 
I ain't getting fresh. Long little walk through this mine. Okay. We're just wasting bullets there, so. going to if you don't stop shooting at me. Well, you better think that. I'm coming after you. the gun. But before I go pulling it, I get a few more bodies here. You don't hide behind uh, barrels of dynamite either, man. I just ask him for trouble. Let's be on this side. Yeah, there he is. Okay, let's get this out of here.
Oh, that's an easy way to do it. Don't see anybody coming in behind us, but you never know. Just I don't trust him. Oh, there she is. What a beautiful weapon. God's own gun. Ain't that the truth? I got us a borrowed flatbed parked down below. Meet me at the bottom of the hill! This is fun. What did I tell you? Piece of cake. Interesting. I expected more out of that. Let's go. That was actually fairly the easy. Will arrive now, and we'll have this executive peacemaker delivered to Old West Dickens. <sighs> Make sure it doesn't fall off on the way. I think so heavy it probably won't, but and there we go. Yeah. Let's get out of dodge here. Okay, that should be far enough. We'll set up a nice little camp here. And I hope everybody enjoyed that episode. That was kind of fun, doing a little robbery of the mines and everything. Now we'll just sit here and relax for the evening. And we'll see what we can get into trouble on the next episode. So as always, enjoyed this. Give me a like. If you're new to this channel, give me a subscribe. And we will see you on the next one.